Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Let's look at this trick integral. This trick integral, the integrand is secant cube of x. And how do we integrate this? Usually the strategy for integrating the product of powers of uh, secant and tangent is that we look for a even power of secant or an odd power of tangent. Now, if you look at this one here, we have an odd power of secant. And then you may say, what about the tangent? The tangent, because the tangent is not even in here. So we are going to assume that the power of the tangent is zero. So that's an even power of tangent. So it, um, it's not really one of those two cases, right? Uh, those two cases that will allow us to use u sub would be the even power of secant or the odd power of tangent. And this problem does not fit into any of those cases. So now what do we do here? Um, in this case, we need to do something else. And how do we do it? We actually got to try different things. Okay, so how do we try it? Um, one way to do it is to break up the, um, the secant x, secant cube x into secant x times secant square. And then you may say, why do we want to do that? Um, at this point, we don't need to think too much we just want to break it as a product first so that we have more things to work with. And so now if you look at this, this is secant x and then secant square x. Okay, now you may say, what do we do next, right? Because we have a product here, we can actually try integration by parts. So we can actually integrate this by parts. And so before we actually start, we are going to just recall the integration by parts formula first. So let's do that. Okay, so we have, um, let's just recall it up here regarding integration by parts. Um, the formula is actually the integral of u times dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. Okay, and then now the question is, what do we choose as u? What do we choose as v? And then we'll start doing that. Okay, so let's do that here. Um, first, we are going to um, look at this. That's a product of two functions right here, secant x, that's one function. Secant square x dx, that's another function. And so what we are going to do is that we are going to let u, okay, so do that on the side. We are going to let u be secant x. And then we are going to let the dv, okay, We're going to let the dv uh, be secant square x dx. And so as you can see that um, when, u is, when u is secant x and then dv is secant square x dx, and when you put the u and dv together, you are going to be getting secant x times secant square x dx, which is exactly this right here. Okay, so we're actually having the integral that's matching the left side of this formula right here. So all we need to do is to find du and then v so that we can fill in the information in this formula right here. So next step is that we are going to find the du. Okay, so what is the du? Du is actually the derivative of the secant x, right? So if we take the derivative of the secant x, we are going to be getting secant x tangent x. Oh, I think I need more space, right? So let me move this dv a little bit. Okay, so now that's better. And then we are going to get the dx right here. Okay, so the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x and then dx. Now, what about the v? The v is finding the antiderivative of secant square x. And what is that? That's just tangent. And this is actually the reason for why we put dv as secant square x. It's really because we can integrate this function easily and directly. And then we can also differentiate the secant x directly. So that's why we are, we're choosing our u and then dv this way. Okay, so now we are going to um, replace this with a new expression, which is the right-hand side of this formula. So it's going to be uv minus the integral of v and then du. Okay, so we have the table ready. We can just fill in the information. So let's do that. <clears throat> so next, we are going to be getting um, the integral, okay? 
So, oh, actually, we don't fill in the integral yet. We are going to write down the uv first, right? So the u is going to be secant x. And then the v is going to be tangent x. Yeah, so we have the tangent x here. So far, so good. And then we have the minus sign. That's coming from the formula right here. And then now the integral symbol. This time, we do write down the integral symbol. And then the, for the v, we are going to get the tangent x right here. OK, so tangent x. And then for the du, right, du is this expression right here. So we are going to be getting uh, secant x tangent x and then dx. So that's a lot of stuff. OK, so now we can actually simplify this expression right here, right? So if we do that, then we are going to be getting um, secant x tangent x and then minus the integral. OK, now put the tangent together. We are going to be getting um, the secant x and then tangent square x dx. OK, so times the uh, multiply the tangent functions together, then we get tangent square, and then we put the secant x in the front. OK, so now we have this function right here. And then you may say, what do we do next? Um, we can actually replace this tangent square x by something else. So let's do that. And then you may say, why do we do that? Um, we got to try different things, because this is actually still another integral that does not fit the description um, of the two cases when we can use u substitution, right? Remember, we are looking for a even power of secant or a odd or an odd power of tangent, but that that's not right. That's an odd power of secant, and then that's an even power of tangent. So that's too bad. Okay, so cannot do that. Okay, now what do we do? We can replace this tangent square by using the Pythagorean identity. Okay, so let's do that. So we can replace it by what? Now, let's just recall something else right here. Um, remember that tangent square plus one is going to be secant square, right? So tangent square is actually equal to secant square minus one. So we are actually having secant square x minus one. Okay, so we replaced this into that. And then it would actually be a good idea to distribute a secant to both terms right here. OK, so let's do that here. So continuing from the previous step, then we are going to be getting secant x tangent x, right? So I still got to keep writing them. And then minus the integral. Now multiply the secant x and the secant square x together. We are getting the secant cube x. OK, and then minus, and then secant x times negative 1 is negative secant x. OK, then now you can see that there are two turns in this integral. So we can actually break the integral up right? using the integral property. So we are going to break it up into secant x tangent x, then minus the integral of secant cube x dx. And then now you got to be careful here. There is a minus sign in front of the whole integral. And then there is also a minus sign right here. So when you distribute this minus sign to that minus sign, you are going to be getting a plus. So adding the integral of secant x dx. OK, so now we need to ask ourselves, what, what's going on here? How do we continue with the problem? Um, do you realize that we can actually integrate this if you know how to integrate this one? Um, if you don't remember how to integrate the secant x here, we, um, there was a video in the description that will show you how to integrate this secant x. So you can click on the link, and then you can see how we can, we can integrate that. But here, I'm not going to show how to integrate the secant x. What about the secant cube? This is actually the same integral that we have 
originally. Okay, so basically at this point we are just we are just saying that this integral is equal to all the stuff. Okay, so let's write that down, and then you will see what's going on here. So at this point we can actually say that all this right, all this is equivalent to this integral. So that means this integral is equal to this step. So we are actually having, this is the original integral here. So let me just put that right here. Original integral is secant q x dx, right? And then what happens is that that's equal to all this stuff. Okay, so let's just copy this down. I'm not going to write it one more time. Let me just use the copy to right here. So we have just paste that. And then we have all that right here. But do you see what's going on here? This is actually the original integral. Let me just highlight that in the same color. So now um, I discontinue from this step. What I did is that I'm writing this down here, and then I'm claiming that that's equal to this last step that I did. Okay, so now the question is, the question is, what should I do next? There was a minus sign right here. Remember, we are trying to find what this integral is equal to. So all we need to do is to move this integral over to that side, and then we solve for this integral and then we can actually find its antiderivative, right? We can find the antiderivative of the secant cube x. Okay, so moving this to this side, it becomes what? It actually becomes two times that integral. And that's equal to, okay, so let me line up the equal signs. Actually, be a good idea to line up the equal signs, and that would be equal to, okay, equal to what? Equal to the secant x tangent x right here. And then plus, now you may say, what about this thing right here? We know that the antiderivative for secant x is actually It's actually ln of absolute value of secant x plus tangent x. And then at this point, we can probably just put the plus c. I'm, I'm just going to wait until the end, OK? So now we we found that 2 times the original integral is equal to this expression right here with the con constant of integration that I didn't put right here. Actually, let me just put it. So I'm just going to use, uh, let's say, c1 right here. I will explain why I'm using a subscript right here later. Okay, so now what is the next step? The next step is this. We are finding this. We're finding this original integral, not two times this integral. So all we need to do, because this is an equation here, we can divide everything by two. We can multiply one half on both sides of the equation so that We have now that one half, right? That one half is going to be one half secant x times tangent x plus uh, one half, okay? And then we can have um, that green expression, which is our end of absolute value of secant x plus tangent x. Okay, and then actually we should also multiply that uh, c1 by one half, right? So, um, but we can actually, it's still a constant, so we can turn it into a c. Um, in this case, the c is actually the what? The one half times the c1. And then we're finished, as you can see here. So integral of secant cube x dx is equal to this expression right here. And we are finished. So um, as you can see here, when you get to a certain point where you see the original integral, usually this is the way to do it. You actually need to set the original integral equal to whatever step that you get up to. And then you realize that that's the same integral, but with a minus sign here or some other coefficients. And then in this case, we can actually move this integral to that side by adding the integral 
to both sides. And then you're going to get two copies of that integral, right? I mean, in this case, it's the twice of this integral. Um, and, <clears throat> and what happens is that we just need to divide by whatever coefficient that we have right here, and then we have the final answer. Okay, so that's the way to do it. And this is actually an integration by parts problem. Okay, and but it's also a trig integral that we can we run into that does not fit the description. Um, well, it doesn't really fit the cases when we can use u sub. Yeah, so this is not an easy problem. And by the way, I should also mention that if you run into an integral of cosecant cube x, you actually will do it the same way. Almost everything are the same, except that the secant is replaced by the cosecant, and then the tangent is replaced by the cotangent, with some extra minus signs here and there, right? So you gotta, when you take the antiderivative, you will need to deal with those minus signs and take the derivative with the minus signs. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, share my videos to others. It will give me support and make more videos. If you have more questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching.